YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy Dominican Savage here, back with another video. And in this video, guys, we are dropping our first nuke ever in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. But hold on just a bit. This is not new. It's not just yesterday. This is a whole ass gameplay, man. Obviously, you can see my M4 is gold. And I'm not even rocking a suppressor. I'm not rocking ghosts. So if you're a fan of this room right now that I'm in, or this area, I'm practically here the whole match. So let's get to it, guys. You know, Claymore's restock and an unsilenced M4. So, you know, personal radars, UAVs can spot me. And I think getting a nuke in this game was one of the hardest nukes in any Call of Duty history, in history. So, I'm, you know, I'm pretty satisfied with getting at least one. And the fact I say it's harder because in 6v6 is even that much harder. I know a lot of guys out there got it in Ground War this year. But you know what? I feel like 6v6 is still more difficult than in Ground War. And the fact that I'm not rocking a suppressor or goes, come on, give me some credit. But nonetheless, guys, and, and then hold on, and then I actually run out of ammo. It gets a little dicey. You'll see towards you know in the in the video. But nonetheless, guys, Cold War is coming up, man. Huge update just happened, and I, I don't know what it is, man. I'm just not feeling Cold War, and it's not because of Cold War. It's because of Modern Warfare that I'm not feeling Cold War. They play so similar, yet yeah, obviously with Cold War is a plus because you can move around, but Modern Warfare left such a bad taste, you know, in my mouth, pause, that I'm just not feeling 6v6 that much no more, you know? Like, Warzone has taken over. You know, Warzone has changed the dynamic of Call of Duty, you know? And for those who don't want to try Warzone, I, listen, I was one of those naysayers too. I'm like, I ain't trying that BS out. Battle Royale, blah, 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 you know, stupid testosterone pride. Until I finally decided to try Warzone 9, man, I love it, man. Listen, I play on the PlayStation, so we're able to turn off or on crossplay. It sucks for PC and Xbox that they can't do that. As you see right there, I picked up this guy's M13 and you start going off with it. Um, but nonetheless, you know, I've had my share of hackers, of course, Warzone, but Warzone is just a different experience, man. Like, Blackout didn't do this to me, but Warzone feels so much better than Blackout. Are there some things in Blackout that I probably would bring over to Warzone? Yeah, but as overall, Warzone destroys Blackout. And then, to top it off, Warzone, I feel like it's that diamond in the rough. You know, it was discovered because the multiplayer in Modern Warfare was so bad that people just started playing Warzone, and honestly, that's how it is. Even right now, today, I can't play multiplayer. It's so frustrating to play. You know, I can move more in Warzone, you know? <laughs> you may not get into combat with people too often here and there, but nonetheless, it's more fulfilling. It's more tactical. It feels good. And that's what I'm looking forward to, honestly, with Cold War, guys. Like, oh, or, 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 correction, the the fusion between them two to see what happens what if they put a new map the weapons you know operators for that for that matter um right here i'm like and first of all, i don't go for nukes in modern warfare you know so when i see that i'm close you best believe i'm gonna camp my ass off to try to get it and right here i noticed right there was when i noticed i was on a relentless i was like holy crap i'm 10 kills away bro and i was like all right Time to play extra cautious, even though that's when you usually mess up, when you change your approach. You know, I think that's one of the mistakes that we all make when we're playing COD and going for a nuke. We change our approach when we get to the closer to the goal, instead of just riding out the approach that we've been doing from the get. But yeah, man, I'm truly a huge fan of Warzone and Battle Royale now, and it's be Modern Warfare multiplayer pushed me in that direction. I went there, and I never been addicted to a call of duty game as much as i have been to warzone like as far as to want to do well and do good i feel like you know with standard multiplayer you get that chance to spawn back whatever like you get them next time but warzone is a timely game and you want to win and it's fulfilling especially if you complete the mission the last team to survive or the last player to survive like it's awesome you know, and the more you play it, the better you get it. Strategies, it's just a whole bunch of things going to Warzone, man, that don't go into multiplayer. So, you know, I'm not sure how I'm going to react with multiplayer in Cold War in the few come, Which I still haven't purchased, by the way. I still have not bought 
Cold War because I'm like, if Warzone is free, why should I waste my money in, on on Cold War? But then I started thinking, I'm still gonna get it. Of course I'm gonna get it. You know, like we're addicted to Call of Duty, right? So we're gonna waste our money anyway. But the game is bad, good, whatever. Even though it's gonna be bad, or not, it's all about expectations. But at the end of the day, we're gonna waste our money. No matter you could, you know, every year you get the same shit. Oh, this Call of Duty's dead, man. Call of Duty's dead. It's trash, man. Da 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 da, man. You know, and we still waste our money on it, and we're gonna continue to waste our money on it. But this year, yo, like I really haven't bought it, you know, like, but I will. <laughs> but yeah, man. So with that said, this was a also a clutch nuke in the sense like the time was against me also. So I was like, oh crap. This domination, obviously, you know, at 200, the match is over. Currently, is at like 190 something, there, 195. So I'm like, bruh, where are these guys at? <laughs> but yeah, man. So we'll see, yo. With Black Ops Cold War, I'm I will play multiplayer for sure, just to rank up weapons, go for the secret camo. I feel like Treyarch is not gonna be that annoying to do it with, like their guns and stuff like that. Modern Warfare this year, I was, the mask didn't even look that good, honestly, for me to try to go for it. Um, but Treyarch usually hits it on the head with the camos, <clears throat> so I'm definitely gonna push for that. So we will see, guys. This is just a you know a little video, mini you know rant, I guess. Of what's to come? You know, I'm looking forward to streaming again soon, very soon. Um, I truly want to stream Warzone more often, guys. I'm trying to yeah. trying to fit it into a schedule where I can. You know, daddy life, man. Daddy life affects a lot of shit. So. I'm trying to find the perfect timing and then also to play with friends because I don't want to play by myself. Um, pause. Um, but we'll see, guys. Yeah. So, again, Dominican Savage here bringing you this video, guys. Looking forward to playing Warzone some more. And eventually in the future, hopefully Warzone goes up for the better, blows up again. And we'll see what happens with the Cold War multiplayer, man. I'm hoping it's going to be great, but we'll never know. But until then, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.